Staring down a steep gnarly slope can really get the adrenaline pumping. Here are some tips for staying cool and in control. The main things to keep in mind are body positioning, braking and looking ahead. As mentioned in our body positioning video, on steep descents you'll be standing on the foot pegs with your body to the rear of the bike. Sometimes you'll have your butt on the rear fender when it gets really steep. This not only prevents you going over the bars, but puts extra weight on the rear wheel to get extra braking. Your arms will be almost straight, but don't lock your elbows, as you will still need to steer the bike. As the descents get steeper, put some of your balancing practice into action and go as slow as possible. This will be very handy when you need to keep the speed down on very steep slopes. Keep your body loose and let the bike move around. Too often, we tense up on steep descents. Use both brakes, with most emphasis on the front. On loose terrain, you should be able to just apply enough brake to where the front wheel is starting to lose grip. That should give you maximum braking power. The front brake, of course, provides most of the braking power. The back brake stabilises the bike on the way down. Having one finger always on the clutch is useful here, as you can pull the clutch in if the rear wheel threatens to lock up, and you can avoid stalling the bike. If you have enough speed up, you can also simply use the engine brake, particularly on a four-stroke, to provide extra braking and avoid rear wheel lockups. You're going to try and avoid locking up those wheels, but there are times you can lock the rear wheel up. On gravel or soft dirt descents, this can be helpful to build up a bank of dirt in front of the rear tyre that can help slow you down. You can also lock up the rear wheel to slide the rear end of the bike around if needed on the descent. Read the terrain ahead and don't fixate on any nasty bits or you'll just simply ride into them. Also, you can often let the bike build up speed when it gets very steep, then reapply the brakes if the hill temporarily flattens out before you tackle the next steep bit. There does come a point where the descent is so steep you think of upgrading your life insurance. When caution is the better part of valour, you'll probably need to sit on the bike and just paddle your way down with your legs. However, if it's ridiculously steep, Turn off your engine, put the bike in gear, and walk it down carefully. If all goes wrong, you can just drop the bike so the handlebars and foot peg will dig in and just look after yourself. There's no point cartwheeling down the slope with your bike trying to perform surgery on you. Ready to challenge yourself? Try balancing at a standstill briefly during a descent. It's a great way to not only keep the speed down, but develop your confidence on steep slopes. Try mainly using your rear brake and trying not to lock the rear wheel up. Fucking steep. Experiment with braking hard enough that the wheels are just on the point of locking up. Like a manual form of ABS, this will be your point of maximum braking. And of course, as with so many of these techniques, if you get to do them on a trials bike first, it's a lot easier than just translate it across to the dirt bike. <laughs>